Hello, welcome to Mama Sue's Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how you can use something that you've already fixed before and had some leftovers in a different way. Do you remember when I showed you um, how I made the candied yams from um, the way that Bevel's uh, Cafeteria and Pelham had made such good ones. We had a little bit left over and I thought, I'm not gonna throw those away. You know, we don't, we save almost everything. So, Harold told me, what, or he, he asked, he said, why don't you make some fried sweet potato pies? I said, man, that sounds good. So, you know, these, these were already seasoned with butter and um, butter. Mainly, it, it was butter and sugar. So, I'm just going to sprinkle some Y'all brand cinnamon sugar in here. Just to give them a little pie taste. And I'm going to mix that in there. And now you know that you can do um, a real crust, real dough, pie dough. Let me check my oil over here. Don't want it to get too hot. But we're doing easy today. So I got a can of Pillsbury Flaky Biscuits and um, there's five in here. And that's gonna be plenty so, I'm going to show you how I'm going to do this. We love fried apple pie. Amy usually asks for that for her birthday instead of cake. But, Harold's favorite is a fried peach pie. But today, since we have leftover potatoes, sweet potatoes, we're going to have some fried sweet potato pies. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this uh, parchment paper over this and I'm gonna roll this out as thin as I can because we like the crust thin and you know it's gonna puff up some. So, What I'm going to do, that layer is going to, I'm going to have to get some flour. Get a little all-purpose flour over here. You can use any kind just to roll it in, but that's what I'm going to do. And uh, just to keep it from sticking so much. Next one won't. So what I'm gonna do, these are gonna be small. Harold, can you get me a fork, please? Yeah. Thought I had everything, but I don't. Okay, I'm gonna put some of this, maybe a little bit too much in here, so I'm gonna get it out. And Bring this over. And then you're gonna always want to take a fork and close up the edges. Okay, now what I'm gonna do this time is I'm gonna have some flour and it won't stick, I don't think, hopefully. I smell that grease, so I don't want my grease to get too hot. Will you turn it down on medium, huh? These are small biscuits. If you wanted a big pie, you'd have to get some, uh, like the brand. Go 
I'll put a little bit in the center. Fold it over. Put some flour on your uh, pie edges. Now, if you watch Brenda Gant, she'll tell you, and, and it is good to do this, to use a little fly, uh, water and it'll seal it. Let me check my oil. Don't want that oil to get too hot, that's for sure. So there was a little spot that didn't. So we're going to seal it like glue. Let me check the temperature of my um, oil. Oh, well. Okay. I think I'm going to do one more. And then I'm going to turn the camera around and let you see um, when I start to, uh, fry this. Okay. I'm going to get me one of those mats that you can put down. I've never had one. But that's what I'm going to get, and it will, uh, I won't have to do this with a uh, parchment paper. Okay. Now let's put this in the center. Put a little water. Stretch it over, then go around, and close the edges. Okay, Harold, if you want to turn that around, I'm going to check this temperature. That's gonna be fine. It's like 3:30. So let me put this one in. Um, I'm trying to see. No, that one's showing. It's not showing me. I don't know. Has it gone off? Nope. It hasn't gone off. I don't think. But you know what? If it's not working, I'll show it to you when it comes. The other day, we found out that the above camera kind of didn't work like it was supposed to. So, it's not showing down like it's supposed to. And you just want these to brown on each side. And it's not going to take it long at all. So I'm going to turn this one over. Oh yeah. I think these are going to be great. Now what I'm going to do, we're going to finish these two. And then I will cook the others for us a little bit later. I mean when, when I uh, get them made up. But you don't want your oil in your skillet to be too hot because it'll burn quickly and you just want it to be uh, medium oh, this is on like four and you want them golden you can put when you take these off you could sprinkle them with um, some powdered sugar or you could make a glaze but I'll tell you what I'm gonna do with these I'm going to put some of the cinnamon sugar on them. 
I think that's going to be really, really, really good. But you don't want to waste anything. I mean, I've told you this. If you have just a little bit of green beans left, put it in a plastic container with a lid and put it in your freezer. Then the next day you may have some corn or peas or I even freeze what rice I have left and I put it in my plastic bowl and then when I get ready to make tomato uh, vegetable soup, I just add a jar of tomatoes. And every time we go to Louisiana, my youngest granddaughter, I'll usually ask them, what do you want me to fix? And Maddie, our oldest one that's graduating this year, said, I want chicken casserole. All right, I know what Emma's gonna, I mean, Maylee's gonna say, vegetable soup. So I'll carry that and do the vegetable soup. But uh, don't waste anything. We eat leftovers, but you know, sometimes with just two of us, it um, it really is more leftovers than I want, and I'll try to ask Amy and Sean if they want some, and sometimes they do, and sometimes they don't. Okay, I think these are ready to come out. They're golden, beautiful. I'm going to put them over here, and then I'll get Harold to hold that up for you. I, I hate that my overhead camera is not working. I don't know what's wrong with it. It worked for a little while. I guess I can hold it. Can you see that? Man, that's going to be good, I know. But you see how you can use leftovers and you can make treats? You know, you can you can do anything really with them. And in my volume three cookbook that has just come out, there's a recipe for potato puffs. I don't know if that's what it's called, but it reminded me of my mother so much because she used to make these. They're called... Um, Oh, sweet potato puffs. And you could take that's those sweet potatoes that are left and you wrap them around a large marshmallow and you just have to get this to see the recipe, volume three, and you can get it from my website, which is mamasusouthernkitchen.com. But y'all, I hope that you see how you can just make something very easy this is going to be too hot to eat. I can't, I can't eat it right now. But trust me when I tell you it's going to be good. Remember, y'all, be salt and light wherever you go. Let others see Jesus in you. I'll be back soon.